Repeat after me. Correlation is not causation. Correlation is not causation. Correlation is not causation. At times, during my statistics studies, it felt like I was Jack Nicholson in the film The Shining, in which we witness his descent into madness as he types the same sentence over and over again. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Now, correlation is not causation. means that just because two things correlate doesn't necessarily mean that one causes the other. What this, boils, what this boils down to is the old Latin phrase, post hoc ergo propter hoc, an informal fallacy that states since event Y followed event X, event Y must have been caused by event X. It is often shortened simply to post hoc fallacy. Now, post hoc is a particularly tempting error because correlation appears to suggest causality. The fallacy lies in the conclusion based solely on the order of events rather than taking into account other factors potentially responsible for the results uh, that might rule out uh, the connection. A simple example is the rooster crows immediately before sunrise, therefore the rooster causes the sun to rise. Now, in statistical sense, it comes down to correlation and regression which are statistical analysis measurements used to find connections between two variables, measuring the connections and make predictions. Now, measuring correlation and regression is commonly used in a variety of industries and can also be seen in our daily lives. For instance, have you ever seen someone driving an expensive car and automatically thought that, that that driver must be financially successful? Or how about thinking that the further you run on your morning workout, the more weight you'll lose? Now, both of these are examples of real uh, life correlation and regression. As, you, uh, as you're seeing one variable, a fancy car or a long workout, and then seeing if there is a direct connection to another variable, uh, being wealthy or losing weight. As we investigate the relationship between two variables, it's important to know the difference and similarities between correlation and regression. Now, it's not uncommon for correlation and regression to be confused for one another, as correlation can often drive into regression. However, there is a key difference. And that is, the cor that is that correlation measures the degree of a relationship between two variables, x and y, whereas regression is how one variable affects another. Use correlation for a quick and simple summary of the direction and strength of the relationship between two or more numerical variables, and use regression when you are looking to predict optimize or explain a number of response between the variables or, uh, how, uh, or in other words, how X influences Y. In this video, we are going to define what correlation and regression are, look into the differences and similarities of regression and uh, correlation. When it comes to correlation, think of it as the combination of the words co, meaning together, and relation, meaning a connection between two quantities. Now, um, in this sense, correlation is when a change to one variable is then followed by a change in another variable, whether it be direct or indirect. Variables are considered uncorrelated when a change in one does not affect the other. In short, it measures the relationship between two variables. For example, let's say our two variables are x and y. The changes between these two variables can be considered positive or negative. A positive change would be when two variables move in the same direction as seen in the graph uh, here. Um, meaning an increase in one variable result in an increase in another variable. So if an increase in x, in, 
uh, in increases why it's a po uh, it's positively correlated. An example of this would be foot size and height. You have a dirty mind, brother. <laughs> this is because an increase in foot size is related with an increase in height. Taller individuals tend to wear bigger shoes. If uh, two variables are moving in opposite direction, like when an increase in one variable result in a decrease in another, this is known as a negative correlation. An example of a negative correlation would be price and demand for a product because an increase in price uh, result in decrease in uh, product or in uh, demand. Knowing how two uh, variables are correlated allows for predicting trends in the future, as you'll be able to understand the relationship between the variables, or if there's no relationship at all. The main purpose of correlation through the lens of correlation analysis is to allow experimenters or researchers to know the association or the absence of a relationship between two variables. When these variables are correlated, you'll be able to measure the strength of the association. Overall, the objective of correlation analysis is to find the numeric value that shows the relationship between two variables and how they move together. One key benefit of correlation is that it is a more concise and clear summary of the relationship between the two variables than you'll find with regression. On the other hand, regression is how one variable affects another or changes in a variable that triggers changes in another, essentially cause and effect. It implies that the outcome is dependent on one or more variables. For instance, while correlation can be defined as the relationship between two variables, regression is how they affect each other. An example of this would be how an increase in rainfall would then cause various crops to grow, just like a drought would cause crops to wither or not grow at all. Regression analysis helps to determine the functional relationship between two variables so that you're able to estimate the unknown variable to make future projections on events and goals. Uh, the main objective of regression analysis is to estimate the values of a random variable, which we will call Z, based on the values of your known or fixed variables, X and Y. Now, linear regression analysis is considered to be the best fitting line through the data points. Now, there are some key differences between correlation and regression. Uh, that are important in understanding the two. Regression establishes how X causes Y to change and the result will change X, uh, and the result will change if X and Y are swapped. With correlation, X and Y are variables that can be interchanged and get the same results. Correlation is a single statistic or uh, data point whereas regression is the entire equation with all of the data points that are represented with the line. Correlation shows the relationship between the two variables, while regression allows us to see how one affects the other. The data shown with regression establishes a cause and effects, uh, a cause and effect when one changes, so does the other, and not always in the same direction. With correlation, the variable moves together. In addition to differences, there are, so, uh, there are some, some key similarities between correlation and regression that can help you to better understand your data. Both work to quantify the direction and strength of the relationship between two numeric values. Anytime uh, the correlation is negative, the regression slope or the line within the graph will also be negative. And anytime the, re the correlation is positive, the, re uh, the regression slope or the line within the graph will also be positive. Now, even though they're studied together, it's clear that there are obvious differences and similarities between correlation and uh, regression. 
when you are looking to build a model, an equation, or predict key, response, uh, key responses, you have to use regression. If you're looking to quickly summarize the direction and strength of a relationship, correlation is your best bet. This has been Dex Kamitan, and thank you for watching.